Over the hills and far away, Teletubbies come to play. One, two, two three, three, four, four. Yeah. <laughs> Teletubbies! Time for Teletubbies! Time for Teletubbies! Time for Teletubbies! Time for Teletubbies! Dinky Winky! Pinky Winky! Dipsy! La la! La la! Po! Telly Tubbies. Telly Tubbies. Say hello. Dinky Winky. Dipsy. La la. Oh. Telly Tubbies. Telly Tubbies. Where have the Teletubbies gone?
Tinky Winky. <laughs> Dipsy. La la. One day in Teletubby Land, Tinky Winky saw that somebody had spilled their tubby custard on the floor. Somebody spilled the tubby custard! Uh oh! But whoever it was had left footprints. Who spilled the tubby custard? Who spilled the tubby custard? Ooh! Tinky Winky followed the footprints. Footprints! <laughs> Tinky Winky followed the footprints over the hills. Oh, 
Summer the Hill. And round the bush? Around the bush. To the place where Dipsy was sitting with the rabbits. Uh-oh, Dipsy! Oh, kicky winky Was it Dipsy who spilled the custard? Dipsy pilled the cubby custard? No. No? And sure enough, the footprints carried on. Huh. Who spilled the tubby custard? Who, Who peeled the, the cubby custard? Who spilled the cubby custard? Tinky Winky and Dipsy followed the footprints over the hills. Over the hill! To the place where Lala was dancing. Was it Lala who spilled the tubby custard? <gasps> Lala spilled the tubby custard? No. no! No! And sure enough, the footprints carried on. Who spilled the tubby custard? Who spilled the tubby custard? Who peeled he tubby tattered? Tinky Winky. Dipsy and Lala followed the footprints over the hills. Over the hills! In and out of the trees. In and out of the trees! Across the path. Across the path. Around the house. Around the house. And then they went indoors. They went indoors. Where Poe was fast asleep. Oh! <laughs> uh -oh! <laughs> was it Poe who spilled the tubby custard? Yes! <laughs> who spilled the tubby custard?
can. I can. I can. Time for Tubby Bye Bye. Time for Tubby Bye Bye. Time for Tubby Bye Bye. No. No. Bye bye, Tinky Winky. Bye bye. Bye bye, Dipsy. Bye bye. Bye bye, Lala. Bye bye. Bye bye, Poe. Tinky Winky. Bye bye. Bye bye, Dipsy. Bye bye. Bye bye, Lala. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye, Poe. Bye bye. The sun is setting in the sky. Teletubbies, say goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. See what? 
what they all do. Come on, let's rebrand the market. Do you hear that hullabaloo? Everybody's busy selling. Come on, buy me something new. Look through the arches under the station, down where the pigeons project cool. Take a taxi ride to the river. I want to drive down the avenue. Hey, look at those buses gleaming. They look so clean and spanking new. All lined up to drive around the city. What man ting that bell to the moon? I'm gonna ride on right to the school stop. Where the children hurry through. Sit down, the teacher's teaching. I'd love to learn a thing or two. Me too. I'd love to skip in Six o'clock. Come on and get on down to the city where the fairy box stands the blue. Time to call on Granny Murray. She'd love to say hello to you. Me Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home to. Who's here today? Well, we've got Brian and we've got Decca. But don't just sit there, Poppins. Come on, let's have some fun. First, go and get them for Granny Murray, then my angels. Wow! Try that one on Brian, that'll be funny. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> well, we've got Brian and we've got Decca, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Who's that? Oh, it's Lisa with Tina. Hello in there. Hi, Granny Murray. Lisa. <laughs> Oh, have you got one for Claude, though? You look so little bit left out. Oh, I'm sure I'll have one somewhere. <laughs> Will this do? Oh, that looks like a mask you'd wear in a masked ball in a fairy tale like Cinderella. <gasps> Great idea. Why don't you dress Claude up as Cinderella? <laughs> and I will make a wish for a seat. Oh, your wish is my command. <laughs> wish. <laughs> It's funny you should be dressing Claude up as Cinderella because Raymond and I are doing Cinderella as a play. Oh, I'd love to see that. Well, maybe next time because today Raymond and I are taking the Cinderella play abroad. Oh, the audiences over there will love it. Oh, I hope so. Oh, come on. Give me a sneak preview. <laughs> oh, all right. But as Raymond's not here to help, I'll have to play all the roles myself. Smashing. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Cinderella, and I'm so fed up living with my two nasty sisters. Cinders, scrub that kitchen. Yes, Gertrude. Cinders, polish my shoes. Oh, yes, Delilah. Whoa, well, scrub the kitchen. We're going to a ball. Thank you. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Your play will be fantastic, Tina. Oh, I wish I had a fairy godmother to make sure you're right about that. Oh, don't worry. You don't need any help. Because sometimes you don't realise just how clever you are. Oh, oh well, talking of clever, take a look at everyone's handiwork. <laughs> oh, you look magic, Claude. Really? Oh, is that for me, Lisa? Oh, thank you, darling. Bye-bye, love. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Come on, then, Flower. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> now, remember... Sometimes you don't realise just how clever you are. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. <laughs> Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Tina and make sure she goes the right way to work? I'd better hurry. What would be the quickest way for me to get to work? Thank you. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, need, need to speak to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on the subway. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry through the tunnels. Oh, clatter, clatter, clatter underground. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. 
squeaking, 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 slows us down. Clatter, 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 and the shift are squeaking, squeaking to our stop. I'm in, 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 I'm in a hurry. I need to speak to work. Phew! Now what? Of course! I have to get dressed for work. <laughs> Tina, thank goodness you're here. Now, did you remember all the hats for the Cinderella show today? Yes, don't worry. Everything's ready and waiting in the garage. <laughs> Just pick the hats you think we'll need and I'll bag them up. Right. Oh, this is great. Oh, what about this for the prince's hat? Right, what do you think? Prince, you look divine. Dancing? <laughs> Ah, are you the postman? Oh, yes. How did you guess? Why, well, you're dancing. It's first class. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dash. Oh, not to worry. This won't take long to pick up. Oh, I hope not. We've got a ferry boat to catch. Right. You pop the plates into this bag, and I'll put the hats into this other one. You shall go to the ball, Cinders. I wonder what Lisa's doing right now at nursery. I love to skip in Riversy Bingle, Riversy Bingle by the sea. I love to skip in Riversy Bingle, Riversy Bingle, that's for me. Bye bye. Oh, I wish I could be a fly in the wall to see Lisa at nursery. <laughs> What are you doing now, Mommy? Time to hit the road, love, if we're going to catch the ferry boat. Oh, have you put everything we need for the show in the taxi? Yes, the makeup's already on board. Oh, well, what about the hats? The hats? Oh, <laughs> the hats. Right, got them. That's everything. Let's go. Ferry boat, here we come. Hello, you two. What are you doing aboard the ferry boat? Well, we're off across the water to put on a show. Mm -hmm. Sounds exciting. What's it about? Oh, Cinderella. Oh, wow, that's one of my favourites. Me too. <gasps> Ooh, it looks like we're off at last. Oh, how <laughs> okay, Louis. Okay, Jack. Let's start some hard, hard work. <laughs> The fairy boat band that play the fairy boat sails away Floating down the river to the ocean waves The captain steers his way as engine found a way Turning down the river to the rhythm of the band The radar swings, the fairy band sings The captain taps his satellite map Sailing out to sea on the noontime Clap your hands to the fairy boat band Wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beats Swing to the sway like the waves on the sand Bump to the music and stamp your feet As the fairy folk band they play the way to surf and sway Clattering the trays to the splash of the waves The sailors work away as passengers dream they play Eating in the buffet as the fairy band play Or sailing out to sea, riding on the waves Rocking to the ocean rock As the fairy folk band did play some more To the ferry boat band, wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beats, swing to the sway like the waves on the sand, bob to the music and stamp your feet. Clap your hands to the ferry boat band, wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beats, swing to the sway like the waves on the sand, bob to the music and stamp your feet. <laughs> I love driving abroad, Raymond. But don't all the different road signs mix you up? Not really. The signs are pretty much the same. I'll show you. Oh. Look 
Look at that. You don't see things like that back home. It's a pity Lisa isn't here to enjoy this. And the bumblebee and they all came marching just to get out of the rain. <laughs> that was brilliant! Right, let me hear your animal noises. I am fun, Mummy. Right, let's get inside and get ready for the show. Right, where's the makeup box? Makeup box. <laughs> uh, hats. Ooh. Hats. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> plates. Plates? Oh no! After all our preparation, now it looks like we won't be able to perform our play because we brought along paper plates instead of hats. Oh, where did the time go? At six o'clock, I dropped Lisa off at Granny Murray's house. They were all having a great time, dressing Claude up as Cinderella and playing with paper masks. At seven o'clock, I arrived at the garage, where Raymond joined me to get ready for our trip. We loaded all the things aboard the taxi, after we tidied up the mess I made by knocking down a pile of paper plates. At ten o'clock, we arrived at the ferry and had a great time sailing across the sea. At one o'clock, we arrived and set off to drive to the hall where we had arranged to put on our performance of Cinderella. At three o'clock, we got to the hall, only to discover we'd packed paper plates instead of hats. We must have mixed up the hat bag with the bag containing the paper plates I'd knocked over. Now remember, sometimes you don't realise just how clever you are. Sometimes you don't realise just how clever you are. We may not have hats, but we do have plates. So let's do something clever with the plates. Come on, Raymond. Show must go on. And it's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? I'm going to do it. I'm going to beat the clock before the time. I'm going to start it. I'm going to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that song. I'm going to finish the job before I finish the song. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are proud to present the story of Cinderella. Hey dear, I'm Cinderella and I'm very fed up living with my nasty sisters. Cinders, scrub this floor. Yes, Beatrice. Oh, it's the postman. Hello there, Bert. Oh, Cinders, it's just the one letter today to you from Prince Charlie. <gasps> from me? From the prince? Oh, it's an invitation to the ball. I'll have that. <gasps> oh, <coughs> we're going to the ball. Bye. Uh, I wish I could go to the ball tonight and dance with a handsome prince. Ah. Dearest Cinderella, I am your fairy godmother. You shall go to the ball. Oh, thank you, fairy godmother. <laughs> but don't be late, dear. No. Be back by midnight. What a lovely ball! Oh, what a lovely handsome prince! May I have the pleasure? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, it is midnight! The magic will end. Bye, princey! Hey! What about your schlepper? If you ever fetch the schlepper, I shall marry. Here, miss, let me try it on. <laughs> no, I think it will fit my dainty wee toes. Oh, oh. 
then we shall be married. And live happily ever after. Oh, Lisa would be so proud. <laughs> <laughs> Who can catch the last two elephants? Yay! Well done! That is brilliant! <gasps> will you look at the time? Your mum will be sailing by soon to pick you up, darling. <laughs> I want to be with you, mummy. Granny Murray have both the fab day. Oh, we sure did, didn't we? Thank you. Oh, <laughs> mummy angel. And thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Sometimes you don't realise just how clever you are. It saved the day. Oh, is that so? <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. <laughs> Oh, me too. <laughs> Come on, Lisa. Let's talk about our time away. <laughs> and I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, grinding, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things, and rushing round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as Cinderella. He looked a real picture in his glittering mask. I dropped Lisa off at nursery. There, she had great fun pretending to be an animal. After nursery, Lisa came back to my house and joined in with a song about animals trying to keep out of the rain. After we'd finished singing, Lisa's mum arrived to take her home. Tina and Raymond's trip was a great success. Their performance of Cinderella went down a treat, which just goes to show that sometimes you really don't realise how clever you are. What a fun day. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. are a time for fun <laughs> with lots to do for everyone and it's gonna be good so much to see and do it's gonna be good time. wonderful good time. a time to spend with family and friends <laughs> with CBeebies the weekend feeling never ends I can't wait join in the fun weekends on CBeebies Now you may be thinking, what's all the fuss about number 17 Verdant Avenue? You've got a point. I'm Daniel, by the way. It's an ordinary house with an ordinary baby Sam and Mum living in it. There's even an ordinary clumsy dad. But there is one thing that sets this place apart. One boy, Tommy. He's one upright that is definitely not ordinary. He's almost as special as me. Zoom. He's saving the planet with no one to help him but Daniel the Hound. Tommy Zoom. He's not looking for trouble, but there's trouble to be found. If you sniff a whiff of a man and a monk, it's the hung of Pluto and his psychic smoke. They'll be plotting to plunge the planet into gloom. Who can save the world? Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Tommy. 
Those uprights. They've got a dining table at home, but they come to the countryside and eat on the ground. It's called having a picnic, apparently. I can't see the point of picnics myself. Baby Sam spends the whole time putting on and taking off the hat. And Dad never eats because he's doing the leg scratching dance. I call it the itchy insect shuffle. As for Mum, she spills more food than Baby Sam does at home. Well, somebody's got to tidy up, haven't they? But there's one thing we can always rely on. Tommy's always late for meal times. Mum and Dad had called him, but Tommy hadn't heard. Where was Tommy? Aha! Doing what you're meant to do in the countryside. Exploring! Hooray! <laughs> Intrepid explorer Tommy hacks his way through the jungle. It's hard work, but Tommy isn't put off. Followed doggedly by determined Daniel. Tommy the Brave pushes on, carving out a brand new path through the thick undergrowth. Oh, the heat, the flies. <gasps> the devastation. You know, if you pick wildflowers, they'll never grow in the same spot again. So what shall we do? Smash more flowers or head back to the picnic? Smash flowers or picnic? What should Tommy do? What would Tommy Zoom do? Tommy, Tommy, Tommy Zoom. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy Zoom. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy Zoom, Tommy Zoom. Time to save the world, Tommy. In a zoo. What's going on? Is it a party? Oh, I think it is, Tommy. We've stumbled on a carnival. Oh, and that must be one of the floats. Oh! oh. <laughs> Tommy Zoom! Septimus Calypso at your service. Hello, Mr. Calypso. Come in, relax, enjoy the show. Welcome aboard my vehicle, the Snippetron. <laughs> Meet my lovely assistant, Ava Banana. Hello, Miss Banana. <laughs> can I have a go on the Snippetron, please? You surely can, Mr. Zoom. Yay! Ooh. Ah. We're making patterns in the meadow, Tommy. Why not take a look at what you've done? Cool. Come oh. on, Daniel. Uh, could we walk instead? Oh. oh. Enjoy the view, Tommy Zoom. It's so easy, just like my plan. But that looks like blue or shit. Whoa, Tommy, that man isn't Septimus Calypso, he's... Palua! But what's he trying to do? Watch and learn, Smog. Fire one! If I cut down all the wildflowers, there won't be any seeds. <laughs> Fire two. And no new wildflowers grow next year. Fire three. Soon all the countryside will be withered and brown. Just the way I like it. It's another perfect Paluto plan. <laughs> loud chortle, Smog, loud chortle. <laughs> wow. Stop right there, Blue O. No one can stop me. Out of my way, Tommy Goody Two Shoes. Look, Tommy. Ha! Good thinking, Daniel. Leave us. 
Maybe one of these turns a snipper troll off. Hmm, maybe this one. Well, that seemed to do the trick. <laughs> Tommy, you saved the world's plants in a zoo. With a lot of help from you, Daniel. So what will Tommy do? He's going back exactly the way he came, so he doesn't hurt any more plants. Mum will be pleased. At last, all the family are sitting down together for a lovely meal. Hang on, where's Dad? Never fear, Mum. Special Agent Tommy and his suave sidekick, that's me, obviously, are on Dad's trail. We creep through the jungle, being careful not to damage the plants. Detective Tommy stealthily follows Dad until, uh-oh, looks like Dad's about to pick some wildflowers to show Mum. Well, Tommy and I soon put Dad right about that. What's up, Tommy? Well, well. Seeds. Ha-ha. <laughs> now, hopefully some of the plants will grow back next year. Smart move, Tommy. got some very good news. So good, in fact, that she couldn't wait to tell the koala brothers. Oh! How wonderful! What is it, Alice? Oh, George! I've won! I've won a poetry competition with my poem! I must go and tell Frank and Buster straight away! Uh, what about your scooter, Alice? Uh... Well done, Alice! Yay! Oh. It's Alice. Hello, Alice. Morning. My poem! I won! Won what, Alice? A poetry competition with my poem. Look! Ah. Cooey, what's all the fuss? Alice's poem has won first prize in a poetry competition, Mitzi. Oh, that's great. 
I love poems. Let's hear it, Alice. Oh, do you really want to? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. M. It's called My Favourite Place. The waterhole is big and blue. I go there all the time to play. With Archie Ned and Mitzi too. That's me. I'm in the poem. Shh. We like to swim around all day. Then all my friends come along with me to Frank and Buster's house for tea. And so my day comes to an end out at the homestead with all my friends. Wow! Wow! Did you write all that yourself? Yeah. Everyone agreed it was a great poem. No wonder Alice had won first prize. We should have a party to celebrate. Good idea, Frank. And Alice can read out her poem. I'll learn my poem off by heart so they can see it all without a piece of paper. Are you sure about that, Alice? Learning a whole poem can be really hard. Oh, quite sure, Frank. Wowee! I'll go and tell everyone we're having a party for Alice's poem. <gasps> OK, then. Come on, Buster. Let's fly over to the store and pick up some food for the party. Right, Frank. Meanwhile, Mitzi was telling everyone she could find about Alice's good news. There you go. Thanks, Lolly. What brings you here then, Mitzi? I've come to invite you to a celebration at the homestead. Alice has won first prize in a poetry competition. First prize, eh? Ha! <laughs> That's marvellous. And she's going to recite her poem to all of us by heart. Oh, splendid. By heart? Wow. I could never remember a whole poem. Back at the homestead, Alice was having trouble remembering her poem too. The waterhole is big and blue. I go there to... Oh, I've forgotten again. Play, that's it. The waterhole is big and play. I go there all the time to blue. No, that isn't right. How's it going, Alice? Thought you might like a drink. Oh, thanks, Ned. It's not going well at all. Remembering my poem is much harder than I thought. Maybe I can help. Do you think so, Ned? The water hole is Mitzi too. I go there, Ned and Archie play. With Big and Swim around and blue. Uh, I don't think that's quite right, Alice. I'll never remember it all. Maybe you could read your poem, Alice, not try to remember it. Cooey! I've told everyone about your poem, Alice. They can't wait to hear you say it all by heart. Lolly and Archie and George and... Mitzi. It's no good. If I can't remember my poem, there's no point in having a recital. Oh, but I've told everyone now. Oh, don't give up, Alice. Uh, Frank? Yeah. Maybe you just need a bit of help from your friends. Sammy's good at remembering things. Why don't you ask him to help you? That's a great idea, Frank. Don't forget your poem. Oh, thanks, Ned. Sammy? Josie? I need you to help me. I'm trying to remember my poem by heart, but I keep on... Forgetting? How do you remember things, Sammy? Well, if I have to remember something important, I sometimes draw a picture of it. That usually works. Now, how does this poem of yours begin? The water hole is big and blue. I go there all the time to play. Hmm. I know just what we need. <laughs> ah, right. Let's try it out. <clears throat> My favourite place. The... The water hole is big and blue. I go there all the time to play. <gasps> I did it! I remembered! <laughs> all you need to do is look at this picture whenever you need to remember the first line of your poem. Thanks, Sammy. Oh, don't mention it, oh. Alice. <laughs> Alice realised that she just needed to find things that would remind her of each piece of the poem. Luckily, she had her friends to help her. OK. Ready, everyone? The waterhole is big and blue. I go there all the time to play with... Archie, Ned and Mitzi too. We like... Swim around all day. Ah, I remembered. Thank you. Well, well done, Alice. Alice. See you at the party, Alice.
Alice couldn't wait to tell Frank and Buster how well she was doing remembering her poem. Hi, Alice. Frank, Buster, I'm remembering. I'm remembering my poem. Listen. The waterhole is big and blue. I go there all the time to play. We like to swim around all day. We, we play and... Oh! <gasps> What's the point in being a poet if I can't even remember my own poem? You remember the first line, Alice. How did you do that? Sammy said I needed pictures of each thing I wanted to remember. He gave me this. So then I asked Archie and Ned and Mitzi to help me remember the next bit. But now they're not here, I can't remember on my own. Maybe you don't have to, Alice. Frank's got an idea. I can tell. That's right, Buster. But I'll need to borrow your picture, Alice. Really? Don't worry, Alice. We're here to help. Frank realised that Alice needed all her friends to help her if she was going to remember her poem. So, while Alice helped Buster get the homestead ready for the party, Frank arranged for everyone to help Alice. And later that day... Thank you all for coming to our celebration party. To recite her poem by heart, here's Alice the Poet. Thank you, Frank. <clears throat> do you think she can do it? My favourite place. The... Oh. Oh. Uh, uh. The waterhole is big and blue. I go there all the time to play with... Archie, Ned and Mitzi too. We like to... Swim around all day. Then all my friends come along with me to Frank and Buster's house for tea. And so my day comes to an end. Out at the homestead with all my friends. <laughs> I did it! I did it! I remembered it all! Alice realised if you want to remember something really important, it's a good idea to break it down into bits and get all your friends to help you. Small potatoes, 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 small I think punk rock is somewhere like where the really cool people can like do their own style of music. One, two, three, four. I love the kind of clothes I wear. I just want to be me. I love my hot pink spiky hair. I just want to be me. Me, me. That's all I ever want to Hey. I like the way I talk, hey. I like the way it sounds when I sing punk rock. Oi. So 
just want to be me, me, oh me. I just want to be me, me. I like being me because I have a lovely family and I really like my taste in colours and clothes. I think my sister is special. There's only one of her and she's very special because she's always nice to me. I like being me because I know I have a good family and a nice life. of paperwork to do. I know. You want your breakfast? Come on, then. It's a bit messy, Bob. It's very messy, Rolly. Still, not to worry. We'll soon fix it. You can start by rolling the road flat. Right you are, Bob. And Dizzy will be needing lots and lots of concrete. Yippee! <laughs> Nice mix, Dizzy. Now we can lay those paving stones. Phew! Oh. There. Can we clear it? Yes, we can! Uh, I think so, but, um, oh, I've just remembered. I've left something behind. The yard. Oh, Lofty. Trust you. Uh, that's okay, Lofty. You can go on back. We'll see you on the other side. Uh, okay. Uh, see you uh, later. Bye. Oh, Lofty's gonna make us late. Going all the way back to the yard. He's not really going back, Muck. He just wants to go around the long way instead of crossing the bridge. Oh, why is that then? He's scared of heights, remember? Oh, yeah. Like I'm afraid of the dark. Right, let's get to work. What about these logs, Scoop? Leave them for Lofty. He'll be here soon. <laughs> there goes Lofty. I'm going to have some fun. <laughs> Great. We saved the logs for you. Can you stack them at the side of the road, please? Oh, uh, I think so, yeah. <laughs> Let the fun begin. Watch out, Lofty. There's a mouse. A mouse? A mouse? <laughs> Oh, 
to look at an owl's coop. You can go back to the yard if you like. See if Wendy's got any other jobs for you. Oh, um, OK then. Yeah, uh, see you later. Bye, Bye Lofty. It's, um, well, it's shorter. Oh! oh Lofty scared of heights. Scaredy crane, scaredy crane. Hey, Spud, you leave Lofty alone. <laughs> yes! Leave me alone! All of you! I'm no use to anyone. Hello, Lofty. You're back early. Are you all right? Uh, yeah, I think so. I just want to be on my own. Oh. What's the matter, Lofty? Do you want to talk about it? Uh, I'm no use to anyone. I'm frightened of mice, of heights, and Spud the Scarecrow. Oh, you don't want to worry about Spud. He doesn't mean any harm. I'm making a little present for Scoop and Muck. <laughs> One, two, three, mud pies away! Hey, what's going on? Oh, oh no! It's Spud! <laughs> Come back! Can't catch me! Can't catch me! <laughs> na, 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 na. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lofty to rescue him. But Lofty's scared of heights. But he's the only one who can reach that far. I'm going to the yard to get him. <laughs> Help! Hang on, Spud! <laughs> well, he's just sitting there in the corner, Bob. Oh, dear. Well, I'll talk to him when I get back. OK. Oh, I'd better go. Sounds like Scoop's back, too. Hello, Scoop. What are you doing here? <laughs> There's been an accident. Oh, no. Well, what's happened? It's Spud. He fell off the bridge. Oh, is he hurt? No, he's caught on a bush, but we can't reach him. We need Lofty's help to pull him up. Right. Well, we'd better tell Lofty right away. Lofty, we need your help to rescue Spud. You've got to come back to the bridge. Oh, but... Oh, the bridge. It's too high. It's scary. And Spud's scary, too. But, Lofty, if you don't help, Spud might fall. And you don't want that to happen, do you? Um, um, I don't think so, no. Will you and Muck be there, Scoop? Of course we will, Lofty. Well... Um, OK, then. I'll give it a go. Good for you, Lofty. Off you go, then. I'll ring Bob and tell him what's happening. An emergency at the bridge? OK, Wendy, I'm on my way. Oh! Help! Help! Hang on, Spud! Oh! 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 oh. Come on, Lofty. Just a bit further. I'm right behind you, Lofty. Just lower your jib. Oh, 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 well, all right, but I can't look down. Bob, you'll have to tell me what to do. No problem, Lofty. Forward a bit. <laughs> Left a bit. <laughs> now, lower your hook. I've got it. You. Well done, Spud. OK, Lofty. Oh, oh. Did I do it? Of course you did, Lofty. You can open your eyes now. Hooray! Yes. Hooray yes. for Lofty! Yes. Good yes. old yes. Lofty. Yes. Well done. Nice one, Lofty. Nice one. Wendy? Spud's safe. Lofty rescued him. Oh, thank goodness for that.
There you go, Spud. Back home safe and sound. And I don't want any more mischief from you for a while. No, Bob. Right, Bob. Ah, uh, thanks, Bob. Don't thank me. Thank Lofty. If it wasn't for him, you might well not be here at all. I know. Thanks, Lofty, and sorry about teasing you. Are we still friends? Uh, I think so, yeah. <laughs> Hooray for Lofty! That's really good, Lofty! You're my hero! Hooray! It's going to be a big honey-making day today, Raggles. The bees will be very busy. Oh, I love honey. How do bees make it? See the centre of the flower? Yes. It's full of nectar. The bees collect that nectar and take it back to their hive and turn it into runny, yummy honey like this. Oh wow, bees are so clever. Mmm, yum. I'm off to see Will. See you later. Bye, Rosie. I planted lots of flowers for them in the orchard. Want to come and see how they've grown? Oh, yes, please, Big Bear. Hmm. What should I draw? I know. I'll draw Will. Woohoo! <laughs> Keep still, Will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's no good. <laughs> oh, little acorns. Would you like to be in my picture? Yes, yes me, 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 me. <laughs> 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 No, no, no. You need to keep still. I can't draw you if you're bouncing on the page. Whee! Oh, I think I need to go and find something a little less bouncy to draw. A snail! The perfect thing to draw. They don't bounce around and they're nice and slow. Hello, Holly. Great snail picture. Hey, you could draw my lovely new flowers too. I planted them over here. Come and see. I can't see any flowers, Big Bear. Me neither. I planted them around here. Oh, but there's nothing growing. Oh, dear. Oh, well, I'll just have to plant some more. Come on, Raggles. Let's go and fetch some more seed. I know. I'll draw lots of flowers to cheer Big Bear up. Mmm, tasty. <gasps> yes, but we're running out. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll find some more yummy seeds lying around. I think I've got everything I need. I'll babysit the bees while you're gone, Big Bear. Oh, bees don't really need babysitting, Raggles. But uh, if you're going to do it, you'll need to wear these, because bees can sting. 
<laughs> I've never babysat bees before. This'll be fun. What do you think, Will? <sighs> Flowers? Oh, too girly for me. What are you going to do with all those pictures, Holly? They're for Big Bear because his real flowers didn't grow. I'll paint a nice blue flower for you too, Will. Mm, yeah. Could you take them to Big Bear while I draw some more? Yes, of course. But, uh, haven't you done enough pictures now, Holly? Great <laughs> you! <laughs> Where have all the bees gone? Maybe they're hiding. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Bees, where are you? <laughs> hey, cool outfit, Raggles. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm looking for Big Bear's bees. I'm supposed to be babysitting them, but oh, I can't find them. I'm sure they won't be too far away, Raggles. I'll just put these pictures inside for Big Bear. I'll help you find the bees, Raggles. Oh, thanks, Will. Now you can look cool too. Oh, uh, no. Oh. to look after his bees. And without bees, there's no honey. Unless, maybe there's another way we could get some. Yes! We can make the honey instead. How? Hmm. Big Bear said the bees collect nectar from the flowers to turn into honey. So that's what we'll do. Oh, it's empty. What about you? Sorry, Raggles. I think you need to be small, like a bee, to get the nectar out. Oh, I'll just have to tell Big Bear that I'm not a very good babysitter and I've lost his bees. Oh, look! Lots of tasty seeds, just like last time! Mmm, yummy! Oh, get off! They're mine! Ah, no, they're not! They're mine! <gasps> Hey! So that's where all my seed has gone. What do you think you're doing? We're having lunch. Hmm, that lunch is my flower seed. Uh, flower seed? Yes, I've been trying to grow flowers for my bees, but you've been eating all the seed. Now I know why there aren't any flowers. Oh, uh, sorry, Big Bear. We didn't realise that's why the seed was there. We just thought it was a tasty snack. What am I going to do now? My bees need lots of flowers to make honey. Um, uh, about the bees, Big Bear. Well, a little teeny-weeny problem. I've lost them. You've what? They've disappeared. We looked everywhere for them, but we can't find them anywhere. Hmm. They're probably buzzing about looking for flowers. Oh? Yes. Oh, I think we might be able to help Big Bear. Yeah, if they like flowers, we know where the bees might be. Hi, Oakley. Have you seen Big Bear's bees anywhere? <laughs> Look over there. They've been buzzing around all day. Lots of them. Oh, yes. We've had quite a few seed picnics here. We must have dropped a few. <laughs> the bees will be able to make lots of honey with these flowers. But how will they find their way home? Home? <sighs> there you are, Big Bear. Hello, Holly. 
What's that you've got? You were so upset about your missing flowers, I've made lots of flower pictures to put up in your house instead. But there are too many already in Big Bear's house. Shh! Raggles? Oh. Oops. Oh, they're lovely pictures, Holly. Oh, thank you. It's a shame no one wants them. Hmm. All these pictures and those bees have given me a great idea. Thank you. Well, uh, it takes the bees a while to turn the nectar into honey, so they won't make it in time for tea, but luckily I always have a few spare pots of honey just in case. Honey sandwiches for tea, anyone? Yay! Raggles, is this why you rushed home before me? Yep. What are you doing with all these pictures of food? Well, you know bees love flowers, so they follow the trail of flowers to get home to their hive. Yes. Well, in case I ever get lost, I've got a special trail too, with pictures of all my favourite foods. Carrots, bananas, apples, sandwiches, strawberries, ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Raggles. Everything's <laughs> rosy. Everything's rosy. Everything's fun when your friends are around. Raggles and Bluebird, Big Bear and Oakley. Everything is rosy now. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs>